A series of conditions make the earth hospitable to life as we know it, and one of them is the soil where we grow our food. It is full of a complicated mixture of nutrients, bacteria and fungi that allow the growth of plants. On the contrary, it has been discovered that the soil on Mars is sterile and full of potentially toxic compounds. As humans run towards the red planet, how to live and eat once there will be a great obstacle. Scientists believe that it is possible to grow sustainably on Mars, but for this they will need to modify the planet Earth. Biologist Uyghur Weimelink believes that earthworms can help. In his Dutch research laboratory at Wageningen University, two small worms were born recently from a colony that lives on the ground created by NASA to simulate the dirt found on Mars. For Weimelink, who has been working in the research laboratory since 2013, Successful births indicate that worms that dig through simulated soil can not only live, but can thrive. On Earth, worms play a crucial role in the agricultural cycle, and this gives researchers the hope that one day they can do the same in another world. For there to be a self-sustaining agricultural system on Mars, no part of the crop plant can be wasted. Worms could play a role by taking depleted parts of the plant, such as stems and leaves, and break them down into nutrients that could be used later. Earthworms create channels in the soil that allow water to penetrate the roots of plants more couple worms take organic matter from the top of the soil eat it, to it and when it is removed, bacteria can break it down further. Otherwise without worms deplete nutrients in the soil. Their research is still at a very preliminary stage, and the full conditions of Mars must still be simulated by researchers trying to grow food. The bacteria that convert worm droppings into nutrients occur naturally in Weimlink's laboratory. On Mars, this would not be the case. Weimlink also enriched the soil with nitrogen by adding a type of fertilizer called pork mud. He theorizes that on Mars, manure should be made from sterilized human excrement. 